this possibly have been like a mountain lion mix up? But I have my opinion. Well, they, what do you think? The thing I could say to that is that people that actually said they saw the sighting mm -hmm. said they witnessed this thing standing on its hind legs. Yeah, true. And it was like a wild dog. So Yeah, true, right? So I've never <laughs> seen a mountain lion hang out with, with wild dogs, and I've never seen a right. mountain lion stand up on mm -hmm. two feet either. And so uh, you know, and a lot of people, too, if you're watching this video, you know anything about the woods. Mountain lions very rarely will come at you from the front. They like to hit you in the back of the neck, right? So I, I, I knew a guy, still know the guy. Every year, his thing, cuz, was he's going, he goes out to Yellowstone and he fishes for two weeks, right? For two weeks, he goes out there and he fishes. And he used to, he had a, a I wouldn't say a, a mask made, but it was a plastic printing of his face made. And he had a strap and he would wear it, they wear it behind their heads, right? So it looks like the eyes are facing that way to keep the mountain lions, you know, lower the chance of the mountain lion like attacking it. Right? But the funny story is, is that I'll say this. I still think the most dangerous thing in the woods are people, right? And he told me this story one time when he was out there. He actually, he actually, he actually was really good friends with a Native American out there from somewhere. They used to meet. Like the guy would come from the West Coast. This guy lives out in the East Coast near me. They would go out there, spend two weeks. They had to put their food up in a tree and everything. Like, like they got off the grid, dog, right? And so, and they, they're big time fishermen, right? So he said he was fishing one time. It was him and his buddy. His other buddy was about like, I don't know, like eight feet away or whatever. And uh, out of nowhere, just real calm like, man, some dude just steps out of the like the tree line, like the shrubs, right? It starts walking towards him. And they he said that he could tell that this cat, man, he had like bad intentions, right? Like like something like right. you know, he was something was off, right? So evidently the guy gets about like they see him, you know, they verbally engage him. And the guy just keeps like, you know, does it, he's not really responsive. He keeps coming, but he's got this thing on his, he's got this thing on his hip, man. Like he's got a Bowie knife on there. It's probably 12 inches, a solid knife. Right. And the, the, the guy, not the guy I know, but his friend was, it was in between him, the native American. And he was like, Hey, look, don't, don't come any closer, man. What do you want? What do you want? Guy kept coming. Right. Dude got about, I don't know, two feet near him. And this native American dude just, I'm talking about straight up door kicked him right in the shin, right in the leg, right? Right below the knee. And then the dude fell back and screamed. And then both of them pulled out their bear guns, man, big, you know, 357, you know, magnums. And they held him down, right? And the dude was, and the dude was still, you know, being strange or whatever. But he just, man, they, they let him crawl off, right? They actually went and changed their campsite that, that night too because they were worried he would come back, try to get them when they were in the sleep. Anyways, sidebar on that. So... So yeah, so I've never seen a dog man, never seen a, I've never seen a uh, yeti or an alien or any type of cryptids out there in the forest. But still, to me, man, my opinion is is that the most dangerous thing in the woods are people. Subscribe now and turn on the notifications to join us on this extraordinary journey into the unknown.